well on our way to the fall season, which I am very excited about. I'm gonna have some footage in this. Welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. In last week's video, I talked about the angels and my concept and belief about angels and how they work with us in our lives. And I got some interesting comments. I did just want to share, I had linked this book in that previous video, in last week's video. And it is a beautiful book called Entertaining Angels. And it's true stories and art inspired by divine encounters. And this is by a person named Ann Nielsen. And she has a couple of angel books. Um, this one, she's an artist. And she um, paints angels from her, you know, how she sees them and, and envisions them in her connection to angels and i think it's a very beautiful and it's a really nice book to have if you just want to read some stories of encounters that people have had with angels and i just wanted to read a couple of lines out of the beginning introduction of the book because i think that it ties in beautifully with what my message was last week and this um, the first thing I want to read to you is the foreword, which is by um, Roma Downey. So if you ever uh, watched Touched by an Angel, Roma Downey. So she wrote the foreword in this, in this book. And she says, the beautiful stories Anne shares in this book act as powerful reminders that the mighty angels in the heavenly realms are here among us in our daily lives and they are appointed by a faithful and truly good god and the other part i wanted to read is from actually from ann nielsen herself in her introduction and she writes today our entire world the world that God so loved that he gave his only son to die for us. The world that spans far and wide. The world that wants to shut out the mysteries of God needs love. Our world needs grace. Our world needs to be surrounded with angels on earth as we each bring hope through our actions. And I wanted to read that to you because I wanted to just say that the reason why I am writing about spiritual things and angels and God and Jesus in on my blog and talking about the angels and God and Jesus in my videos is because I want to just do something different as to what we see all the time. I mean, we need light and love in the world right now. I don't think anyone out there can disagree with me on that point. I know that the way we go about believing in a higher power in God is very personal. Um, the one thing that really is difficult for me to accept about religion and religious dogma is that there is a a great need to dictate or deny anybody else's viewpoint if it doesn't agree and that to me is not what god is all about 
Remember that God is all loving and all encompassing and we have to find a way to find hope in the lives that we're living right now. And if that means believing in an angelic loving force that can protect and help and guide and, and make people feel better, then what is the problem? Why is that wrong? It's really, it's really tough. It really can be very difficult to live these lives. And so to me, knowing or, or remembering that we do have a spiritual connection, that we really are spirit living these human lives on earth, and that we will one day ex understand that we wanted to come here for a reason, and we forgot that reason, and all of the things that come into our lives and the people and the circumstances that come into our lives do so because we wanted to learn something. We wanted to come out of this life a little more spiritually elevated and spiritually aware and be able to experience things and come out of them a, a better, wiser person. And so I think my purpose and what I'm trying to do is shed that light a little bit. If even just a pinprick of light gets through to someone who is really in a dark place, then it's all worth it to me. And so I hope that you will go and read my blog post because it's called Look Up Dear One. And it's a, it's a post that I wrote this morning doing some automatic writing and uh, with the angels and I asked the angels to write the message. So I hope that you will go out and read it and I hope that you will get something from it. I certainly did. We should look up to God when we're in those moments when we are frightened and fearful and we hear of terrible things that happen to people either in our families, to ourselves, to people we don't even know, but it, but it really frightens us and we need to reach out and look up to God. And so, so that is my message this week. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And again, I hope that you will choose to come back. And if you really want to read some really wonderful stories. I got this book from a company called Parsons Gifts and there's really a lot of beautiful things on that website. So I would encourage you to check that out or you can get this book from Amazon. I will have the link in the description section and I will also have the link for my blog uh, post in the description section. So thanks again, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for being a friend. So take care, everyone. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.